Welcome to the video guys, this is Shuth Patel from Master Fitness and I'm back with another video for you guys. Guys, 2017 is over, 2018 is here and I am very very excited because many of you are starting your health journey, starting to make that healthy choice in your lifestyle. And I am here to help you guys to achieve your fitness goals without any restricted diet and without any restricted lifestyle. So if you want to start your journey, there's a first link in the description of my email. Please email me and we'll start this journey together. So today's topic is abs guys. And I'm going to take you through basic ab movement to develop your entire, your overall ab or you can say overall core muscles. So before that, before taking you guys to the, to the exercises, I'm going to take you through the basic anatomy of abs. Human core consists of four muscle groups, external obliques, internal obliques, transverse oblique and rectus abdomen. We will have a look at external obliques, which functions to flex the spine like a crunch or increase intra-abdominal pressure, which also helps in rotating trunk and flexing laterally. Inside the external obliques, we have internal obliques, which assist in rotating trunk and flexing laterally. Inside that, we have transverse abdominis, it is also called TBA which helps in core stability and compresses abdominal wall. That is why it is active in many different exercises. And finally, main muscle which we all call six pack, properly known as rectus abdominis, which helps in flexing lumbar spine like in a crunch or contribute in a trunk rotation. According to EMG data of 12 different exercises, it is also clear that upper and lower abs can be trained separately with different exercises. Now the question is, which exercises should we do to train upper, lower and obliques separately? According to study by Kevin et al on different ab exercises, it concluded that incline reverse crunches, ab will roll out and hanging leg raises activated more ab muscles. Though we will have a look at what are the best exercises you can perform according to scientific literature. Well, crunches and sit-up variations are generally good, which makes sense given the primary function of rectus abdominis is to flex the spine and the variation of crunches and sit-ups like cable rope crunches and weighted crunches have shown in literature to elicit high ab activation. According to data, it is clear that lower abdominis are more activated while performing a hanging movement which makes sense biomechanically as it brings pelvis towards chest. Any variation that brings pelvis towards chest like hanging leg raises, inclined bench leg raises or normal leg raises are good to activate lower abs. For obliques, according to data, side bends activated more oblique which makes sense given the lateral flexion of this muscle. And while it does present a variable way to progressive overload this muscle by using heavier dumbbells. Though I am not big fan of this exercise for obliques as I like to train them with more dynamic range of motion like cable twist or hanging leg twist which showed high EMG activation for abs. And lastly, for overall core stability, planks show the highest EMG activation for core muscle and variation like ab will roll out are good to work upper abs, external obliques and transverse oblique that is stability of your core. Therefore to train abs overall, I suggest you to include one variation of crunch movement according to your level of advancement, one leg raise movement for lower abs, one twisted or bend movement for obliques and one stability movement like planks and perform it in circuit fashion for probably 3 to 4 rounds. 